In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for January 20th, 2023. And for this question, we need to draw a picture of this equation here, this linear equation, and identify the key features, namely the slope of the line and its intercepts. Now, when drawing a picture or making a graph, there is essentially one main approach to this. If you're not sure what to do, you can simply make a table, pick different x values, plug them in and see what their y values are. Now, before we do this, though, it will be easier to solve this equation for y. Now, you could solve it for x, that would work as well. But in general, these equations tend to be solved for y. In fact, once it is solved for y, we will put this linear equation into its slope intercept form. So let me just rewrite it. We have 3x minus 2y over 5 is equal to 6. And right away, we can get rid of this fraction. We can multiply both sides of the equation, excuse me, not by 6, but by 5 to cancel out this denominator here, since 5 divided by 5 is just 1. And when we distribute on the left-hand side, we get 15x here and 5 multiplied by this fraction the five in the numerator and denominator will cancel, and we will just get minus two y, and this is all equal to 30. Now, at this point, we can move the 15x to the other side so that we get minus two y is minus 15x plus 30. We just subtracted 15x on each side. And in this final step, we can divide everything by negative two, and we do that to cancel out the coefficient on y so that we just get y by itself and on the right on the left hand side excuse me we just get y and on the right we get 15 over 2 multiplied by x the negatives cancel and 30 over 2 is 15 but it's a negative so we will be subtracting 15 and once you solve it for y this like i mentioned is what we call the slope intercept form and in general, if we have some linear equation solved for y, y is equal to mx plus b, the number multiplied by x, which is m in this equation, this is our slope, the steepness of the line, and b is the y-intercept. Since notice that if you plug in x is equal to 0, this part goes away, and then y is just equal to b. And when x equals 0, that's when the line crosses the y-axis. So from this, we can identify the slope. It would be 15 over 2, and the y-intercept would be at negative 15. Or in other words, this has the coordinate. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 15. And we can start drawing our picture. So let me make a little bit of room. And we need a coordinate axis, so let me quickly draw that in. And with this coordinate axis, we can now plot our linear equation using the slope intercept form, we can start by just plotting this point at 0, negative 15. And let's say the x values have a scale of 1, but the y values can go in multiples of 5, since we need to go all the way down to minus 15. So this would be minus 5, minus 10, minus 15 would be right here. So we can plot that first point. And then the slope Remember, just tells us the rise of the function divided by the run of the function, or essentially how much the function goes up or down divided by how much it goes left or right. And in our case, we know our slope is 15 over two, which means we go up 15 every time we go over two units. So if we go up 15, that brings us back to a y value of zero and then go over two. We're now at this point. And when constructing a line, we really just need two points and we can connect them with a straight line. So this should be the picture of our starting equation, which we transformed to this slope intercept form. But if all of this is confusing, if you don't remember slope intercept form, then like I mentioned in the beginning, you can always start by just making a table we pick key values of x or y, we can plug them in and figure out the other one. Namely, we can figure out the intercepts. If we plug in an x value of 0, we can see that y would be negative 15. And if we plug in a y value of 0, 
then we essentially will have to solve an equation. We'll add 15 to the other side. So this will be 15 is 15 over two multiplied by x. Multiply each side by two and divide by 15 to get x is equal to two. So we found our two intercepts. This is our y-intercept. This is our x-intercept. And once you plot those points, then you can figure out the slope by just using this idea that slope is the rise over the run, or really it's the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. And going from one point to the next, notice we go up 15, that's our change in y, and we go right 2, which is our change in x, so you get 15 over 2. And of course, if you want to get a more accurate picture, you can just plug in different values of x, let's say 1, and evaluate, this would be 15 halves minus 15, or 15 halves minus 30 halves, which would be minus 15 halves, this would be minus 15 over 2, or minus 7.5, and we can see that that point is on our graph here, and if you want, you can plot more points, but this will give you a fairly accurate drawing of this equation here.